What's the deal with the preacher's daughter? Huh? She worth all that attitude? And back in the day, she used to be good at two shoes, and now she front like she's some hair raised. Be wearing the jeans all tight and everything. Man, you could put a quarter in that girl's back pocket and tell it's head or tails. Why? <laughs> You're trying to knock boots with her, aren't you? Nah. Yes, you are. Nah. He is. I'm just curious. <laughs> I ain't trying to take her bar and dance. Well, that'd be pretty hard, being that that's against the law. Public dance is against the law if you're under 18 in Beaumont. Shut up. Wait, 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 wait. Jump back. Are you kidding me? Dancing is against the law. Yeah, man, look, we got laws of the poop shoot around here. You know, I can't even, I can't even bring a bandana to school because they think I'm in a gang. If my face gets all sweaty, I gotta use the back of my hand. Now, let me tell you something. This country was built on bandanas. So, you're telling me Beaumont High doesn't have a prom? Well, you know, they got the fall ball, right? Okay, so all the churches get together, put it on, the whole town shows up, and everybody's eyes are on you to make sure you're dancing at least six inches away from your girl. Hey, you gotta add another two inches for me, though. And for one song, they <laughs> make you. They make you dance with your mother. I'm here with Julianne Huff, Kenny Wormald, and Craig Brewer from Footloose. So, um, why do you make Footloose? Well, I think that, uh, I think that, first of all, there, there's a lot of reasons that I'm sure that like studios want to do remakes because they uh, there's a familiarity with the title and uh, people feel that they know what they're getting into. It's not like there's a mystery that they have to discover what the movie is. And to some extent, that's what you know, that's part of the allure with remakes. We had to come up with our own reasons why we wanted to remake the movie. And for me, it was much more personal. I, I loved the original Footloose, and I loved it for certain reasons. I loved it because um, I was, uh, all my family's from the South, like a small town called Fisherville, Tennessee. And so when I saw Footloose, I just felt like someone had like crawled into my brain and made, made a movie just for me. And it was the first time, I mean, I'd seen movies like you know, like Star Wars and Raiders of the Lost Ark and all those kind of movies. But it was like the first time that I saw a movie that I felt a, a real connection to. I felt that I could, I could understand those teenagers. I, I understood the world. And so for me, I, when they asked me if I would redo it, I, as long as I could explore those themes on a personal level, I think that I would have a, I'd have a shot at trying to make it meaningful. I would, I would have a shot at at least trying to make it so a new generation could look at it and feel that same excitement that, that I felt when I was 13. We, we obviously have some of the original stuff, but it's remade or, or re-sang by other singers, and that kind of makes it feel a little bit different. And then there's completely new songs that weren't a part of the original at all, like the song that I danced to, the Angry Angry Dance. It's, it's a, a White Stripes song called Catch Hell Blues, and it's it's, I think, once again, to say this, but a character in itself, and it sets the tone of that thing, which the original did with its music, that we're doing with our music, but it's different songs. We shot it in Georgia, and the original was in Utah, so just the element of the culture that we were in, and the look of it, and the feel of it, and uh, I think that is its own character in itself, and that separates us, just even visually, from, from the original. I think I wanted to figure out a way that I didn't necessarily demonize the parents. I wanted, at the beginning of the movie, for the audience to kind of understand where they were coming from. That this wasn't just about religion, and it wasn't just about uh, trying to restrict people. It was really a, a, a genuine worry about, um, about their kids. I, I always don't like it when people, like, to mean the fact that we have two dancers that, that, that are now these characters that like, oh, the original one, we had actors and we had a decent amount of dance. People were like, oh, well, you just got two dancers and, and now you're putting them in this role. Um, it, it, our artists can go across any medium if they're earnest and honest with it. And so you can look at Jamie Foxx and you can look at, um, at Robin Williams and you can say, well, yeah, but they were just comedians. Like, mm -hmm. w you know, why would we want to give them a role where they would be nominated for an Academy Award? And so, you know, if you think about dancing, where it's like, you know, their toes are bleeding, their knees are aching, they're, they're, they're sweating and, and their, their muscles ache, and yet at the same time, they're having to kind of put this face on that, that is showing emotion that has nothing to do with any of those things. Well, acting is a lot like that. You're standing on a mark, you're dealing with like a camera that's coming at you, you're dealing with all of these things that are like against you performing, and yet you still have to have this uh, emotion that you push forward. Honestly, the there's a lot of similarities, I think, in um, dancing and, and acting. I think that the discipline and the work ethic that we gain through our dancing 
um, definitely transitions and translates to the acting world. And at the same time, if you think about it, like uh, dancing is an expression of who you are. My favorite stars, the people that I look up to, were the movie stars back in the day when they were all dancers, they were all singers, mm -hmm. they were all actors, they were entertainers. I like to, I, I still um, take class every once in a while, I'll take like a hip hop dance class and even yesterday we were in Toronto and we had some free time and I set up a class where I went and taught. So I cut loose by literally cutting loose. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm an adrenaline junkie so anything that like gives me a rush. Uh, I, I, I actually, um, me and uh, my wife and a bunch of my friends, we've, we've started a bike gang. And uh, we all get Bicycle. our bikes together. <laughs> and we've all, we've, all, we've all tricked them out with like all these blinking lights and we took these radios and we attached them all to it. So we all tuned into the same radio station that and as so a cool. unified That's front, so cool. like 10 of us just take to downtown and we just kind of like, we're, 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 we scream and we get, awesome. we get kind of irreverent. And, and, and yeah, take out mailboxes. Yeah, yeah. Well, we, we, we make jokes that like we're going to like pull over and beat somebody up and take their money, but it's not, we're not really a gang. We, we really just, we just kind of like do about Eight miles. I'm Kelsey Marin from The Mash, and this is Julianne, Kenny, and Craig from Footloose. Go see it.